Welcome to the 2008 FIRST Robotics Competition and this year's game, FIRST Overdrive. Overdrive is played on a 27 by 54 foot carpeted field. Two alliances of three teams each occupy the ends of the field from where they control their robots. Each team is composed of drivers, a coach, and a new position, the Robo Coach. The center of the track is spanned by the overpass, which is six and a half feet above the floor. A six foot tall lane divider runs down the midline of the track. The two structures help define the finish lines on the red and the blue lanes of the track. The game pieces for first overdrive are 40 inch diameter inflatable balls known as track balls. There are two for each alliance. The objective of overdrive is to have each alliance move their robots and track balls around the track as rapidly as possible and gain points each time they cross their finish line. Bonus points are earned every time a track ball passes over the overpass. Robocoach stations are located at the corners of the track. Robots start the match lined up against their alliance wall. Starting positions for the track balls are randomly determined before each match. The match starts with hybrid mode, when robots can autonomously navigate around the field and gather points for each line they cross. Alliances will also get a bonus for each of their track balls that is removed from the overpass before the hybrid period ends. During the hybrid period, the robo coaches can pass signals to the robots to give them cues to alter their gameplay. At the end of hybrid period, the human players step forward and take control of the robots. As teleoperated period starts, robots continue to race around the track and score points each time they cross their own finish line. When overtaking slower machines, robots can signal a desire to pass by gently bumping. Robots can move track balls around the field by bumping and hurting them, or the track balls can be captured and possessed. Track balls score each time they cross their own finish line. Two points for going under the overpass, eight points for going over. Robots will have to be built robustly to avoid damage from falling track balls. Track balls placed back on the overpass at the end of the match will earn a special 12 point bonus. Of course, they have to stay there. Good luck and we'll see you at the competitions.